I was doing Jar Majroon and then I brought Rabbu. Rabbu is a noun. You see, I have experienced with uh, my, you know, teaching in the last six years that if I do all these things before, and when the lesson comes, it's easier to understand. If we were to do lesson first, then all these things will come. You may say, what is going on here? But now when we will read the lesson, you will have no difficulty, inshallah. You will have no difficulty. Huh? So, Rabbuhu. Remember, it is in the Quran all the time. You know. Now, Minhu we did, brother. And then I told you. You know that sometimes, if there is a kasra before the pronoun. Are you with me? Or if there is a ya with a sukun before the pronoun. Then, they change. Five of them. Which are those five? Who are? Huma, hum, and then huma, and hunna. These change for phonetic reasons. You know, they sound sweeter if you give them a kasra. There is no grammar rule. Huh? For example, brothers and sisters, here is a harf jar. What is this? Ila. Now, right now, there are no two doubt, dots. Actually, it is. Hamza, Lam, and Ya. Right now we say Ila. It's pronounced as Alif. But as soon as you attached Hu to it, then it, it opens up. The Ya becomes visible. So it becomes Ilai. Now if I say Ilai Hu, see look at the way you make your mouth, you know muscles in your mouth. Ilai Hu. It takes extra effort. And even also, it doesn't sound nice to the ear. So, who became? Now pronounce, Ilaihi. You can pronounce with ease, you know. See, that's the, how beautiful the language is. How logical things are in Arabic language. Huh? Ilaihi. Okay? Are you with me? Same thing will be, Allah, another preposition. When you put who into it, it will open up and it will become alay. Now what will happen? Alayhi. So if you start with il ila, what will happen now? Ilayhi, ilay hima, ilay him, ilay ha, ilay hima, ilay hinna. Only in five. Okay, brother? Do it again. Ilayhi. Ilay hima, ilay him, ilay ha, no change, ilay hima, ilay hinna. Okay, this will change into he, 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 and he. Huh? I'm circling the Dhamma, it is out. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Try to do it now, brother. Ela. Elay he. Elay hema. Elay him. Elay ha. Elay hema. Elay hinna. Is there any grammar change? No. There is no change because of the grammar. No. They are still mabni. We change it because it's easier to pronounce. And then, Elayka. Ilai kuma, ilai kum, ilai ki, ilai kuma, ilai kunna, and then ilai ya. Huh? And I'll again explain why it became ilai ya. Huh? And then ilai na. Huh? Okay. Allah. Let's do it Allah. Huh? Alai hi, alai hima, alai him, alai ha, alai... No, we are doing alai. Huh? Alai... Hema, alay, hinna. And then, alayka, alaykuma, alaykum, alayki, alaykuma, alaykunna, alayya, and alayna. Brothers and sisters, what did we do? We did jarun wa majrun. You remember that, huh? Jarun 
Ma majrur. Okay? Fine, brother. Okay, now let's do B. Harf jar B, which means with. We use it, Bismillah, so that is harf jar. Huh? B, okay? So, what will happen, brother? Here is a B plus who? Because there is a kasra now. Huh? So, it will become B he. Huh? It, it became B he. No, brother. Jarun wa majrur. Don't worry. Beginning, we will get mixed up. It is Jarun wa majrur. Okay, brother and sister. Be he. So, ready? Be he. Be hima. Be him. Be ha. Normal. Be hima. Be hinna. And then, be ka. Be kuma. Be kum. Be ki. Be kuma. Be kunna. Be. And then, bina. Tere bina kya jiyenge. <laughs> okay, brother. Okay. So, brother, remember, here... I always say, it sounds like one word, B, but actually there are two words in it. One is Ya Mutakalam, and one is Harf Char. So if you divide it, brothers and sisters, so B is with, and me, with me. Huh? So we will always remember this, huh, brother. Always remember this. Okay? Fine. Now we come to Fi. Uh, no, fi, how do we write fi, brothers and sisters? What is on ya? ya no, this is not ya mutakalama, this is arfja. What is, what is, see, there's a kasra on fa. So what is on ya, brothers and sisters? Sukun. So if there's a sukun and you bring who, it will become? Fihi, you know why it is fihi. You, you read it in the Quran all the time. Fihi and fiha. But why fihi and not fihu? No, try. You, when you go home today, go home and stay in front of the mirror and say fihu and then say fihi. See, look at your face. Huh? It's easier to say fihi. Instead of fi hu. Huh? Okay? So it became fi he. Huh? Fi he. Huh, brother? Ready? Fi he. Fi hima. Fi him. Fi ha. Fi hima. Fi hinna. Fi ka. Fi kuma. Fi kum. Fi ki, fi kuma, fi kunna. Fi ya, mashallah. Huh? Two yas, fi ya, and then fi na. Huh? She always you hear this. Barakalau fi ka, barakalau fi ki, barakalau fi kum. What is this fi kum, fi ka, fi ki? These are our jar majrur. Jar majrur. 